Hi, Wadha, nice to see you. Hello, good evening. Hi, hello, hi. Nice to see everyone. Привет, Олечка. Hello, everyone. Good evening, nice to see you. Hi, Wafa, hi, Fatima. Hi, Rola. Hello, hello, good evening. Merhaba, merhaba. Hi, Sita, nice to see you. Hi, good evening. Hi, Sana, nice to see you. Hello, good evening. Okay, so let's wait just one more minute until maybe my, more people will join and then we will start. So today on the menu we will, he we will have yoga for the hips, hip mobility. So I will be giving you options. So even if you are the beginner beginner, it's totally fine. You can stick to the big high. I am nice to see you. So you will, um, you can always stick to the first option and if you are more advanced you can always go to like more advanced option okay hi mariam nice to see you good evening hello can you just say uh, <laughs> thank you Raymond. thank you thank you hi okay so I'll switch off the comments and let's start. Let's jump into the practice. So you will stand on the floor and you will place your feet below your hips, okay? And then you will interlace the fingers and stretch yourself all the way up. Good job. And then try to push yourself to the right. Inhale and exhale to the left. Excellent. And exhale, arms to the side. And again, interlace the fingers all the way up. Inhale, exhale. Right. Inhale and exhale to the left. Excellent. And just two more like this. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, arms up. And exhale to the right. And left excellent and down great job and then just one more interlace the fingers arms up stretch yourself all the way up and then exhale to the right inhale and exhale to the left excellent release your arms to the sides and then uh, depends on your level you will if you are losing your balance, go to the wall, yeah, for the support, or if you can do it without the wall, it's totally fine. So with the wall, you will just take one knee up and you will rotate your ankle to the side or interlace your fingers, push the knee to the chest and same, let's rotate the ankle to one side. Good job, keeping pushing the chest all the way up and four, three, two, one and to the other side let's go to the other side same yes keep the leg which is on the floor straight keep pushing your chest all the way up and four three two and one all the way down and to the other side same if you need the wall go to the wall otherwise interlace your fingers push the knee all the way up chest all the way up and let's go rotate your ankle to one side Good, and breathing through your nose. Remember always to breathe through your nose. And then to the other side. Two, three, two, and one. Excellent, come all the way down. And then again, you will go for the right leg. If you need the wall, so as, as you understood, yeah, you can always go to the wall if you're losing the balance and help yourself with the wall. Then again, to the fingers 
yeah now this time try to push the knee as high and as close to your chest as possible oops i'm losing my own balance okay and try to stay here for five counts inhaling and exhaling that's five good four excellent three keep the leg on the floor straight two and one and then if you are with the wall place the arm on the knee and let's go opening and closing the knee to the side yeah try to keep your chest looking forward yeah so you are pushing only the knee to the side okay like this again if you want to try to check your balance and from side to side and four chest up three two and one excellent and place your right leg all the way on the floor now let's go for the left interlace the fingers like all the way up so we stand in here pushing the knee as high as we can the chest goes up and stay for five excellent breathe in four three excellent two and one and yes take the knee from the side and let's go opening and returning the knee all the way back to the center two good keep going trying to mobilize the hip yeah warming up the hips if you feel too much pain don't open too much okay side back and four to go four excellent three two and one excellent come all the way on the floor join your feet together inhale and exhale arms to your chest and then again inhale and exhale arms to your chest excellent and just one more excellent so the next one will be more dynamic yeah so what we will be doing i'll be pushing my knee to the side and opening okay if you again if you need the wall come to the wall if you can do it without the wall do it without the wall okay and let's go so we'll start with the right leg so i'll push the knee in and then out in and out try to keep your chest stable yeah and work only from your hip so you are closing and opening to the side and opening to the side and four three two push into the side and one let's go for the other side same so i will take the knee in and open to the side in and open okay so this will help us to warm up the hips for what's coming and let's go four three two and one excellent come back to the center and again inhale arms up and exhale all the way down and then again inhale exhale all the way down and just one to go excellent and then we will open our feet wider nice and wide turn your feet all the way out turn your feet all the way out palms on the hips yeah so it's like a plie squat and i will bend my knees go slightly down and then all the way up now here try to turn your feet as much out as you can so ideally they should be on one line okay and then again try to sit slightly lower and come all the way up keeping your chest 
all the way up. Excellent. And just three, two, and on the next one, I will sit all the way down. I will push my arms into my knees and I will push and make with my knees and hips number eight, like number eight. To one side, to one side, excellent. Pushing your knees to the back with your elbows, with your arms, and then change the direction to the other side, same. Good. Excellent. And then from here, you will stretch your legs, close your feet slightly, take your elbows, relax your neck, and push from one side to the other side. From one side to the other side, but keeping your legs super straight, okay? And relaxing your neck. So from the side to the other side, as wide as you can. And you should feel a nice stretch in the back side of your legs. Good. And three, two, and one. Then release your arms around your butt and come all the way up nice and easy. If you need to close your feet slightly, inhale and exhale, palms to your chest. That's one. Good. Two, and just one to go. Excellent. And same, we will turn the feet out, yeah? And we will go directly into this position, into the, it's called plie squat. And I will go with my right, push my right arm into the right knee and stretch myself all the way to the left. Left at the same time pushing your hips down and stay here breathing for five good four ideally you should have 90 degrees in your knees three two and one and then from here I will push my left arm into my left knee and stay stay here and breathe Four, good. Three. Two. And one. Excellent, excellent. Join your feet together around your butt and come all the way up. Inhaling up and exhaling all the way to the chest. Two, and just give me one more. Excellent. Now guys, the next stretch will be again from this split. If you are a beginner, you will just stay here or you might try to place the arms on the floor, bend the left knee, bend the left knee and place your right leg to the side. So here, check that your heel is in line with the other foot. It's not too much to the front here. It's to the side. And here, uh, you will try to, uh, some of you will stay with only, with the heel off the floor. And uh, it's totally fine, but if you can, try to push the heel all the way into the floor, helping yourself with the arms forward. Excellent, excellent. And stay here for five, good. Four, three, two, and one. Come all the way up. So if you were here, here you will go, come all the way up. Shake your legs if that's too intense. And we will go all the way to the other side. So same, you may just stay here. Push on your knees, yeah? 
or try to go all the way to the other side check that your foot in line with this one yeah and same some of you will have your heel off the floor it's totally fine you can just stay here heel is on the floor it was uh, facing up keeping this leg super straight or you may try to push that heel all the way into the floor yeah and staying here feeling the stretch in your legs and in your hips and stay five good four three two and one come all the way up and from here place the palms on the floor if you were here yeah you will come all the way down place your palms on the floor you'll place your knees on your mat so how it looks from the side you'll place your knees yeah and you will make sure you check that you have 90 degree angle in your knees that your knees and hips are on one line and you will we will stay here pushing the hips full forward and back forward and back yeah by the way there is also 90 degree angle in my foot and in my ankle here in the knee yeah and i will be pushing forward and back if you can push the elbows on the floor and same try to push your hips forward and back forward and back feeding this should feel like a nice stretch okay nice soft stretch excellent and just four to go and three two and one excellent now from here if you are a beginner you may just stay here pushing your hips forward and back if you want uh, push your hips forward and when you push back lift one leg up and then the other leg up leg up and the other foot up off the floor try to keep that 90 degree angle in your ankles and in your knees excellent and let's go for more remember to be your job keep going keep going excellent And just four to go, four, three, two, and just one, excellent. So again, if you're a beginner, you may just stay with your arms straight, or if your elbows are already on the floor, you might try to stretch your arms forward, yeah, and place your chin or forehead on the floor, and just relax here. Feeling that nice stretch in your hips. Again, I repeat, it should not be very intense. It should be, it should feel nice and stretchy. Okay. And let's stay here, breathing for ten. Good. Try breathing through your nose. Nine. Excellent. Inhaling and exhaling. Eight, good job. Seven. Six. Four. Five. Four. Three. and just one more excellent come back place your arms on the elbows on straight arms now join your 
feet together and push your hips to the back and forward with your feet together hips to the back and forward again Again, this should feel nice and stretchy. If you want more intensity, try to lift your feet on the floor as you are rolling forward and back. So as you see, we've got plenty of options tonight. So you can choose your own option. And just Four to go, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, try to, I know it's hard because we were stretching so much. Try to push your knees together, yes, below the hips. Place the elbows on the floor and just to release the tension in your hips. Try to push your body in circles, shoulders and hips in circles to one side. Relieving the tension that you might have, especially in the hip, because we are working on the hips tonight. To one side, good job. And to the other side, to the other side. Four, good. Three, two, and one. Excellent, excellent. So the next stretch that we will have uh, we will go on the knees, place the palms in the front, and stretch one leg to the side. Point your toes, and this this leg, which is on the floor, you will turn the foot out and push the knees slightly to the side. So again, we are trying here to slide down. And again, I will push my hips here forward and back if you have the knee the pain in your knee which is down yeah place the pillow or a towel to release the tension and you can be on your straight arms here pushing yourself forward and to the back or you can place the elbows on the floor and same try to push your hips forward and back feeling that stretch point your toes and keep this leg super straight super straight to the side excellent again guys if you feel it's too intense for you you always have the option to go higher so the higher you go, the easier it becomes. The lower you go, the more intense it becomes. So it's totally up to you. If you feel like it's too much stretch for you tonight, go higher, okay? And then from side to side, let's go. We've got four more, four, three, two, and one excellent and from here straight arms on the floor join your knees together and let's go same to the other side so I, I will take my leg to the other side and this foot I will turn it out you see push the knee out turn my foot out check that my knee and my heel are on one side point the toes and stay on the straight arms trying to open more to the side or go to the elbows and same I will push myself to the front and back excellent good 
Great job, guys. Try to keep that leg, which is to the side, super straight. And breathing. Now let's go forward. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Arms all the way up. Now join your knees together. And just to make sure that our hips are nice and warm enough, we will do two rounds two times more same right and left okay so same i will go on the knees stretch your other leg push the foot out yeah point the toes and either on the straight arms or on the elbows and let's go you can tuck your bum out yes and let's go Breathing. Good job. And four to go. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Now slowly. Yes. Let's change. To the other side nice and easy on your hips be very careful on your hips because uh, today's stretches that we are doing they are quite intense so if you if you feel it's like too much for your hips you can always stop you can always go higher okay so let's go to the front and to the back excellent stick your butt out slightly Point your toes. Good. Good. And excellent. And four. Three. Two. And one. Oh, yes. Joining these together. And just one last time. One side and the other side. And then we will try the split. But this time it's not the front split. It will be the middle split, okay? And let's go. Right leg and left. Just one more time. Again, you can be on the straight arms, just feeling nice stretching your hips, or you can go on your elbows, trying to push your toes more and to open more. Tuck your bum out slightly. And uh, let's go. Good. And breathe in, remember to breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Now let's switch to the other side before <laughs> before we start the main yeah, the main split. Point the toes. And again, as I told you, yeah, you can just stay on your straight arms. Or go on the elbows, trying to push yourself all the way to the front and to the back. Good. And just four to go. Three, good job. 
two and one come all the way up yes join your knees together and the main challenge is coming so if you are just beginning uh, to work on your hips or if you just recently started doing yoga I suggest for you the same exercise that we already did yeah going into it's called the frog yeah 90 degrees in your knees and uh, 90 degrees in your ankles you can go on the straight arms on the elbows and just enjoy here and the next option will be more advanced okay so if you feel confident let's go for the second option if you feel like you don't want to challenge yourself too much stick with the first option okay second option is that we will go all the way up point our toes and we will go all the way down so you will stay on your straight arms straight arms okay it's also valid or go on your elbows and push yourself down like pulsing down okay tuck your butt out slightly and let's go 20 19 18 yes we'll stay longer 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 strong on your quads 7 6 5 4 3 2 one and just stay here you might place your chest down just stay here ten nine excellent eight seven six five four three two and one push yourself forward easy 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 go out easy Okay, if you are doing second option, I hope you will be able <laughs> to walk <laughs> tonight. Okay, so let's uh, place the elbows on the floor and push again your body, yeah? If there is tension in your hips, let's take it. Because we still need our hips. And two one and to the other side let's go same same try to move your hips also and come all the way up okay let's see stretch your legs we will have second round guys that's why i'm giving you a little bit of <laughs> relax and chill yeah so again take take one leg yeah one hip so we need to make sure we can move our legs again yeah and release the tension in our hips so from side good job and then let's go to the other yeah so you might feel a lot of tension in your hips it's totally normal we are not used to this kind of stretches usually and usually what I am practicing with you is called front split Hanumanasana yeah and this one in yoga is called Somakanasana wide angle so it's a uh, it's middle split so the muscles which are engaged in the middle split are different from the muscles when you are doing front split yeah so the muscles which are engaged a lot are adductors yeah this muscle you can feel them a lot yeah and no more talking i'm talking too much so let's go second round so if you're like that's enough halas of your split you can just stay here yeah and just enjoy chill you can even do this on the straight arms or here if you want to move your hips move your hips slightly and if you want the torture 
option the second one let's go with me all the way up point your toes to the sides straight legs make sure of course that your feet are on the same line yeah you can tuck your bum out slightly and you can stay just on your straight arms if you don't feel like you want to go down and same pulses 20 or elbows 19 18 17 16 15 good 14 straight legs 13 point your toes 11 10 9 8 good 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and hold stay 20 19 yes 18 stay 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 stay stay 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one excellent easy 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 okay again try to push your knees together place the elbows on the floor and again make circles with your torso good job guys circles with your torso to one side excellent And then to the other side, breathing in. Amazing. And then let's go all the way sitting. Yeah. And again, let's release the tension in the hips taking the foot from the outside and pushing your leg from side to side from side to side yeah. I hope we all will be able to walk after tonight's yoga yeah and then place this leg all the way down and the other leg yeah Ooh feels so good never felt so good okay and just one more exercise for the hips which is nice and easy you will sit on the floor and place your legs today is all about 90 degrees <laughs> 90 degrees in your knee 90 degrees in your ankle same 90 90 so what I will do, just when we are stretching very intense, our joints and tendons and muscles, they are getting very tight. So what we need to, to make sure, we need to move after the intense stretch, just to make sure that there is no tension, okay? And from here, I will push my legs softly to the other side, and same, I will make sure, I will check my 90 degrees everywhere yeah and from this from one side to the other side uh, I understand that after this split you might feel uh, too much pain pushing your knees all the way into the floor if there is too much pain you will not push the knees to the floor you will stay all the way a little bit off the floor yeah just to make you to make the hips move and regain the mobility yeah, very important if you will feel uh, if, if you will finish today's session and you will still feel pain in your hips I suggest go for a walk at least 10 minutes walk okay 5-10 minutes walk should help 
You will move your legs and the tension will go away, okay? Excellent. And just two to go. Two. And one. Excellent. And let's just cross our legs. Oh, and let's just stretch ourselves all the way forward. And stay here for 10 breaths. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows, relax your neck, drop your head. And try to breathe here through the nose. Ten good. Nine exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. And four to go. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Slowly come all the way up. Come all the way up. And now let's change the crossing of our leg. So I'll take the other leg, place it to the front, and let's go stretch forward. And same, stay here for 10 counts. Relaxing your shoulders, your neck, drop your head. And just breathe. Inhaling deeply through the nose and exhaling deeply through the nose. Again, relax your neck, your shoulders. Two. And just one more, inhaling deeply, and exhaling deeply, excellent, and then slowly come all the way up. And we will finish our today's session with a mudra. Mudra is the position of our arms and fingers. And they come from India and they help us to reach certain emotional states. So today I'd like to make with you a lotus mudra. So we will join our pinky fingers, little fingers and thumbs together and you will open your arms, your fingers in a nice beautiful, like it's a nice beautiful flower and you'll put it close to your heart it's opening flower and today we are opening our hips a lot so our body is now open and ready yeah and you will place it to your heart and you will close your eyes and imagine like all the things that you want are coming into this flower and straight away to your heart it could be anything it could be health any anything anything that you want and you desi desire and you wish for okay in your life so let's place our flowers to our hearts and imagine when you breathe they are all coming into this beautiful flower of yours and go straight away to your heart And 
them. Inhale, open your eyes. Close this beautiful flower. Keep this energy with you. And thank you very much for joining me tonight. I hope your hips are okay by now. And I will switch the comments back on. So, thank you for the hearts. So how do you feel? How's everything? Thank you, Sita. <laughs> Shukran. Thank you, Sana. Thank you, thank you, Shukran. Thank you, thank you, Wadha. I was like, this was unexpected. <laughs> New thing, yeah. Thank you, Sita. Thank you, Amira. Thank you, girls. In the last part, yeah. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Okay, if you feel uh, after 10 hours of home. Thank you. Спасибо, Олечка. Thank you. Thank you, girls. I love you so much. Thank you for practicing tonight with me. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And have... <laughs> yeah, surprise, surprise. Thank you and see you tomorrow. Tomorrow will be total body workout. It will be high intensity and for all body. Okay, so see you tomorrow. Oh, Fahad is here. This workout is not mine though. Aha, uh -huh. mm, something unexpected, something new, you know, out of the comfort zone. Okay, thank you and see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening and bye bye. Take care. Thank you.